His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Ghadaybiya Palace today. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed Al Mullah, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh, senior members of the Royal Family, ministers, intellectuals, and a number of chief editors of local newspapers. His Royal Highness expressed pride and international appreciation to Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, which reflects the positive perspective of the countries of the world and how they view the achievements of the kingdom. He appreciated the noble sentiments of the people on the occasion of being granted several international awards and prizes. The Prime Minister commended the role of national press in enlightening the public opinion and conveying the thoughts of the people, praising its commitment to national values. He also asserted support to journalists and media personnel in all fields, confirming backing to their employment rights. For their part, the audience hailed the efforts and contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the Flame of Peace Award from the President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace. Her Imperial Highness, Archduchess Herta Margareta, as the first Arab Prime Minister to be granted such an award. The award is presented to His Royal Highness in appreciation for his efforts in the humanitarian field and his support to the peace and reinforcing relations among the people of the world. A ceremony was held at the Libya Palace in the presence of the Vice Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sander von Habsburg, several ministers, speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, and senior state officials, in addition to media personnel. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace and its role in spreading the culture of peace, coexistence and tolerance so as to spread stability around the world. He said the award is honoring the people of Bahrain who represent a model for openness and social cohesion thanks to their values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among all segments of the society. He stressed that Bahrain is gathering points for various civilizations and cultures who live side by side with freedom and equality. The Prime Minister noted the role of the society as a partner in bearing the responsibility to reinforce that world at peace through enhancing efforts to face international challenges and rejecting all forms of violence and tourism, terrorism. For her part, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Marguerite affirmed that the Prime Minister deserves the award, which appreciates his uh, pioneering role in reinforcing humanitarian and peace work around the globe. She said His Royal Highness is the international personality that is respected by the international community thanks to his numerous achievements in the various fields in general and in achieving the aspirations of the people in particular. She expressed the association's honor to uh, present the award to His Royal Highness in appreciation for his role in consolidating mutual respect and understanding as well as the values of tolerance and coexistence among the Bahraini people in addition to supporting regional and international peace and security.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa then held a meeting with the President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace. Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Herta Margareta and her husband Vice President of the Association Archduke Sander von Habsburg. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that all people of the world are peace and loving and that terrorism is a man-made issue that is alien to societies which is not linked to any religion. He urged all people of the world to live in peace and love, highlighting that the people of the region are peaceful and their countries have shared interests with all countries of the world. He said displacement and uh, he said that displacement and forced migration is the result of terrorism and policies which have caused tension and destruction of countries as well as negatively impacted the war future of the people. He expressed pleasure in receiving the Flame of Peace Award, which reflects the follow-up of international authorities and institutions to Bahrain's efforts in the field of humanitarian action and support to peace, as well as strengthening humanitarian relations among the people of the world. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied by President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Herta Marguerite, and Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sander von Habsburg, unveiled the Flame of Peace Award monument. The ceremony was held at the National Museum in the presence of speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, ministers, officials, and media personnel, in addition to guests. The president of the association delivered a speech in which she said that the award is only presented to leaders of people, organizations, countries, cultures, nature and environment, adding that it symbolizes peace, friendship, courage and persistence. She confirmed that the award was granted to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in appreciation and gratitude for his efforts in supporting development and peace in the world. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness for the award and commended his tremendous efforts that attracted the attention of specialized United Nations agencies in addition to international institutions. He asserted that the award reflects Bahrain's reputation and confirms the sound approach of the Prime Minister in achieving the aspirations of the people in a peaceful and stable environment. Following the ceremony, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa held a lunch banquet in honor of the kingdom's guests. The reason for giving His Highness the Flame of Peace Award today here in Bahrain is for his exemplary work in humanitarian area and for promoting peace on a, on a global level. He has shown over many decades that Bahrain is a, like a jewel in the Gulf to, to shine of how people can 
live and communicate together. This is, is a very important recognition to, to Bahrain as a country looking for peace and harmony uh, in the region and in other parts of the world. And I think uh, Bahrain and um, His Highness, the Prime Minister, uh, deserves this recognition, in my view. Mongolia's foreign minister, London Purev Suren, is on a visit to Bahrain at the invitation of the International Peace Institution. Middle East and North African Bahrain director Najib Fariji held a presentation under the theme Mongolia's Foreign Policy Initiative. Yasmin Anan reports. While Mongolia is located in the northeastern region of East Asia, its third neighbor foreign policy is poised to allow Ulan Bator to boost bilateral relations with countries around the world, and Bahrain is no exception. So I'm very, very happy to be here in Bahrain as a uh, first ever visit of the foreign minister to Bahrain. You will see that uh, Mongolia is very much interested to, uh, to also to be active here. I um, uh, wish to, to visit Bahrain and then we are going to uh, have today the, the meetings and the, uh, just have the meeting with the uh, Chamber of the, of the Commerce. But how does Mongolia find investment opportunities in Bahrain? And we learned it, it's, uh, uh, it's one of the liberal uh, banking uh, centers. You know that uh, till today I expected that maybe regional banking sector is Dubai or Abu Dhabi somehow. But we discovered that the, also the Bahrain is, is one of the liberalist here, the centers. Also the port, the logistics center here. And then therefore I think... Uh, uh, our private business is going to discover it very soon and then I accompanied also some private uh, uh, banking people and they're going to later arrive here and then I think we have the, uh, the start of the big, big cooperation between the two nations. The redefinition of third neighbor is an ongoing policy. It was successful politically in allowing the nation to expand ties with democratic nations to both counterbalance Russian and Chinese influence and increase Mongolia's international profile. And this visit from the Mongolian foreign minister opens the doors to furthering foreign investment in Bahrain and is a potential gateway into strengthening ties with the Asian region. I'm Yasmin Anen reporting for Bahrain Television. The excitement is building for this year's Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix, nowhere more so than at Bahrain International Circuit, as Thurgaloom reports. Fresh paint gleams in the sunlight as Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East, prepares to welcome thousands of people from around the world to four days of motor racing, entertainment and fun. But BIC is more than just an F1 venue, it's a commercial enterprise, ready to go 365 days of the year. Chief Executive Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa. The 2015 has been one of our best years. We've had over 400 events. Um, it's been busy every weekend, I think since November, um, and the whole month, basically. And so um, it's... Uh, it's very exciting. We've got a lot of mixed events going on. So we've had the Porsche Championship today, prize giving events, uh, private track days, uh, motorbikes racing, uh, two championship, one championship joining us this year. So it's very exciting. It looks pro you know, promising for the future that we have to continue and grow the sport. And that's why we're here. Sheikh Salman is looking forward to this year's Formula One Grand Prix. Um, we're very happy. Uh, entertainment, I think, is one of the best. Uh, that we've had um, the racing uh, we have a new uh, support race coming um, and that's going to be uh, announced soon um, and other than that we're just looking forward to ticket sales are very good uh, paddock club is better than than any other year and uh, a lot of good activity so we're very excited and looking forward to all the fans joining us at uh, the BIC and enjoying a great uh, Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix Supporting the Formula One event, as in previous years, will be the Porsches, who have just finished their successful GT3 Cup Challenge in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Walter Lechner is promoter and head of Lechner Racing. Well, uh, like in the past years, we supported the Formula One Grand Prix with two races. One is on this Saturday, just before qualifying, and the other one is 
before the race. It's always big fun for the spectators. They can identify as you to see cup car with road cars and it's noisy, so it's good. Well, the stand al alone event gives us the chance uh, to invite people for the future competing in the series and also winning the prize, which is the first prize is going to be a Super Cup round in, in Europe, which is worth 50,000 euros, so that's not so bad. So people are going to fight for that. Next time you see this pit lane and these garages, they are going to be full of cars. Some of the most expensive cars in the world and the best drivers in the world. They're all waiting to start this year's Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. This is Esther Galoom of Bahrain International Circuit. A fascinating weekend of motorsport entertainment awaits fans at the 2016 Formula One uh, Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix as stick by the start of the biggest sporting and entertainment event of the year, which kicks off tomorrow. Manama is being prepared for the Bahrain Grand Prix, which takes place on April 3rd at the Sukhir track. Bahrain is the second race of the season this year following the Australian Grand Prix won by Mercedes Nico Rosberg with world champion Lewis Hamilton second. Every year, around 300,000 visitors enter the kingdom mostly to attend the race. Those waiting for the race and benefiting from it are enthusiastic about the arrival of the Formula One teams. Motorsport is nothing new to Bahrain, but what's nice about F1 is because it's an international event with such a huge height and attracts a lot of tourists to Bahrain, especially those are motorsports enthusiasts, uh, makes, makes it more special to Bahrain itself. The Bahrain race was first held in 2004 in the heat of the day, but currently Bahrain is a night race similar to Singapore as the Abu Dhabi race starts in daylight and finishes at night. The Grand Prix weekend, which aside from Formula One, will include racing from other international and regional championships. In addition, BIC will be presenting its usual selection of family entertainment, including world-famous recording artists as well as music stars from Middle East and extensive fun through the weekend. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Today was the third and final day of the inaugural of Bahrain B2B International Business Women's Exhibition and Forum. Daniel Japardo brings us all the conclusions and details in this report. The first Business Business or B2B International Business Women's Exhibition and Forum, organized by the Bahrain Business Women's Society, concluded its three-day run today with the announcement of major cooperation agreements, business deals and upcoming projects. We are very proud as BBS members that uh, outcome of this uh, exhibition and conference uh, was tremendously success. We would like to thank Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa for her support. We had actually so far 500 uh, different business meetings, uh, 32 deals has been signed and uh, the amount of investment uh, is almost 8 million dollars. The event surpassed expectations, attracting around 320 esteemed speakers, exhibitors and participants from around the world. The conference was extremely important and it was important for three reasons. Number one, it provided the opportunity for women uh, from uh, all over the globe actually to network and that is very important and also for women from the surrounding areas to exhibit their products and lastly I think it it showcased Bahrain as a place that is committed to the empowerment of women entrepreneurs. The Bahrain Businesswomen Society signed Memoranda of Understanding with the Abu Dhabi Businesswomen Council and Arab World Investors Union, with more such international agreements set to be finalized soon. Additionally, several deals have been developed under the strategic partnership umbrella of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, such as the initiatives negotiated with Egypt's Cabinet of the Social Fund for Development.
We've done two um, protocols of cooperation that we will sign very soon. Uh, first one is the integration with the Tamkin. Another agreement will be the exhibitions and the integration between the small projects, uh, the small projects owned by the Egyptian uh, youth, as well as the small uh, projects of Bahraini uh, youth. One last thing will be the UNIDO support for all the protocols that will be signed um, in light of uh, the entrepreneurship uh, initiative. This event has resulted in several recommendations derived from the six forum sessions. A number of cooperation agreements have been signed and a plethora of business deals have been made. But its true worth will become even more apparent in the coming months as all the B2B meetings and networking come to fruition in even more deals in the future. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Bahrain's National Oil and Gas Authority, Noga, has announced today it has signed a five-year deal with the multi-bank Marabaha worth a value deal of 570 million U.S. dollars facility to support investments into a number of large-scale oil and gas projects within the Kingdom of Bahrain. The investments include area in Babka modernization program, the LNG import terminal, and the Bahrain gas plant projects, part of Bahrain National Gas Expansion Company. The Bahrain Oil Shares Index closed today at 1,139.95 points, a decrease of 22.22 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was in the commercial banking, investments, and industrial sectors. Investors traded mainly in the industrial sector, representing 45.45% of the total value of shares traded, with 49 transactions and a volume of 1,329,126 shares, worth the value of 227,630 Bahraini dinars.